system approaching perfection. We'll walk deeper into the belly of the beast if it means I'm able to. All right, guys, I'm here at the Latin American Bitcoin Conference uh, with Brock Pierce, and he had a, a pretty great speech just now, and especially the closing of the speech. The closing of the speech was uh, Charlie Chaplin's The Greatest Speech Ever Made. And and that's within Bitcoin. I kind of think that the speech that you just made is one of the best speeches I've heard within Bitcoin. Uh, you know, especially how you were talking about, you know, helping out the community and what you can actually do, you know, with how you believe in, you know, what you believe in and, and, and just do what you love and, and try to create something good. I mean, you, you want you want to go ahead and talk about that? Yeah, I mean, the, me- the message is pretty simple. It's pretty basic, but sad. Sadly, most people don't know the basics. It's, um, I mean, it's, it's when asked, you know, like, what is your superpower? And people are like, what do you mean? I don't have a superpower. I know. Well, what are you good at? Most people I find can't answer that question. So they've gone through their, you know, entire lives, you know, and they might be 30, 40, 50 years old. And when I ask them what they're good at, they don't have an answer. I mean, so one of the things I always recommend to people is start figuring out what are you good at? What are your skills? What are you passionate about? If you can't answer those questions, you don't even know the most basic things about yourself that you need to know because you need to learn to know yourself before you can, you know, learn to know lots of information, learn to know who you are and these sorts of things before you can really start to do anything well. So, um, you know, these are points I covered. If you haven't yet seen that speech, do a, a, a search for the greatest speech ever made. Uh, It's Charlie Chaplin from The Great Dictator and watch that talk. It's powerful and more true now than it ever was. Definitely, definitely. Uh, You know, you've been a a Bitcoin investor for quite some time and uh, it seems like you're turning to more charitable things now or or more more things to actually help humanity. I just do do more things. It doesn't mean that I don't do those things too. I'm still chairman of the Bitcoin Foundation. I'm still you know, a huge supporter of many things, you know, huge supporter of Ethereum, and I'm one of the founders of EOS or Block One that's making it, and uh, I, I'm, I've got about 150 projects in the space. Awesome, awesome. And uh, yeah, and you're a supporter of things like Unsung and, and so on and so I forth. I support a lot of things. Right, yeah. I mean, um, we do. We do I don't sleep well. much. Yeah, yeah. We do pretty much the same thing. We actually uh, handle Unsung for Austin for quite some time, and now we're, uh, we're getting in, into Mexico. So we're uh, helping out with earthquake relief. So we're, we're going to be working with uh, Bitso and some, some other people building houses and things like that. Uh, I mean, what is it that you do to, to try to help people and, and do stuff like that? I know your, your speech is about this. Are there well, I of- talked about superpowers and, you know, right. one of my superpowers and generally we have many. Right. You know, if you've taken the time to hone any skill, right, one of my superpowers is that I can take complex ideas and distill that idea down into something simple, something that I can explain, you know, to, you know, hopefully anyone, even a child, right? Um, and that's when you've become a master of a craft. And so I'm a, I'm a storyteller. And, you know, what I was doing here today is that yeah. it's distilling ideas down and presenting it as a storyteller in a way that it resonates with people where it's in the, it's got the right vibration. It's in the right frequency. And so, um, you know, that's one of them. I'm uh, a connector, right. a very good connector. Uh, I'm a, a, a very good first follower. You know, when I get behind projects, it tends to basically, it's like, it's like the gas was taken out and rocket fuel was put in instead. Right. You know, right. I do lots of things. You talked about, I wear many hats. You talked about digital autonomous communities. You wanna, yes, I think it's all about community. Uh, you want to go ahead and explain that? I know you're, you're kind of comparing it to ICOs and things like that. Well, I, 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 I think of an ICO as an, an initial, initial community offering. I think of a DAC as a decentralized autonomous community because all of it's about community. community. In, the, in the world of today, the you know, sort of mega corporation created by the Industrial Revolution, you have a misalignment of interest. The corporation is an out-of-date structure. It's a structure that's no longer serving its intended purpose. You know, evolutionarily or Darwinianly, it's just a system that's trying to survive, even though it's, again, not serving its intended goal. Um, and that is because you have 
have customers, employees, and shareholders as the three constituents of a corporation. The customer, you know, just wants a good product and service, you know, at a fair price. The employee just wants to do something they like and be room enumerated well enough to be able to live their life. The shareholder just wants a maximum profit. They, that's a complete misalignment of interests. Now, in a decentralized autonomous community, everyone's interests can become aligned because to participate in that community, I need tokens. Imagine if you could only buy Apple products with Apple stock. I need tokens. But now I start to benefit from anything that community does or I lose as the community loses. So I start to look like a shareholder, which then means that I'm now, I want to be a customer. I'm a believer in this product. I now start to benefit from anything the community does. I probably start wanting to contribute and that might be just telling friends about it. It might be, you know, adding value. If I was a designer helping with graphics or UI or a developer building apps or whatever might be on it. And so what happens is I start to look like an employee as well. So in this world of decentralized autonomous communities, you create an entirely, uh, you, you become all aligned in your interest because you start wearing all three hats in a sort of way. And in that open source environment, anything you do benefits me. Anything anyone does benefits us. Anything I do benefits you and everyone else. So it's no longer about, you know, keeping that idea for yourself. It's no longer, you know, this world of scarcity, this world of, you know, where it's a zero-sum game where for you to win, I have to lose, or for me to win, you have to lose. In that open source world, it's in my best interest to share everything I have with the community, to be completely open with all of my gifts, with all of my skills, with all of my knowledge, because that's what benefits us most. That's how you move from a world of me to a world of we. Exactly. Yeah, that's what, what I was about to ask you is your concept of, of me to we. So There you go. That's great. Uh, I mean, I'll, I'll go ahead and let you get to lunch, man. That was that awesome. Was great. Well, uh, it's great to see you. Oh, great to see you, Thank too. Thank you for uh, showing up and, and doing all that you do. I, Keep giving I, what you're doing. I brought you something. I know you already have one, <laughs> but there's another one yes. in case you gave the other one away. No, I've got uh, I've got it, but thank you. I, 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 li I like it. <laughs> Keep Bitcoin weird. weird. Uh, do you know the origin of the word weird? Uh, well, no. The word weird is the same word for magic. Really? Yeah. It was W-Y-R-D. It's original spelling, and it was the word or term for magic. And weird still means magic, if you understand its derivation, meaning keep it weird. Right. It's the weird people we're that from, are the magicians. We're from Austin, so we're all into that keeping it weird. Awesome. <laughs> Thanks again for having me. All right, man. Thank you. Cheers. All right.